you can imagine how horrible this was. Neighbors could hear this mother screaming for her little daughter. Apparently, this in this uh, live-in boyfriend had the girl on the floor, sitting on her, had a knife to the girl's throat. Police say they had no option but to shoot and kill him. She was the bubbly girl who lived next door. She was outgoing when they come out. My daughter would play with them. Just an innocent five-year-old child. Alessa's life was taken in a cold, brutal, and terrifying way. And then it just started hearing a dragging noise across the like the bottom of the wall, and it got louder and louder and louder. Alessa's mother called 911 hysterical. Her live-in boyfriend was violently attacking the little girl. Mom was kept screaming, "Why did he do this? Why did he do this?" When officers arrived, police say the boyfriend was sitting on top of Alessa, holding a knife to her neck. The child was already seriously injured, and they opened fire to try and save her life. Boom, 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 and then it was just whirlwind after that. The boyfriend, Steve Dormill, was killed. Alessa was rushed to the hospital, but died from her injuries. <laughs> The girl's father posted a heartbreaking video on Facebook through tears, saying over and over he wants his daughter back. <laughs> Neighbors told us they never saw any red flags or heard any fighting from the apartment. The boyfriend would regularly sit out back and listen to music. He didn't uh, come off to me as a bad guy. You never know what happens behind closed doors. So. Now, we checked Dormill's criminal history. We did not find much. Just an arrest in 2008 for burglary, but the charges were later dropped. Reporting live in Fort Pierce tonight, John Zanitas, WPBF 25 News.